Hey guys, welcome back to Reignited and welcome back to our Duramax build. Now we are on day three of this build. We're about to reassemble the whole rest of the engine so we can get this cab dropped on this thing. First thing we're going to do this morning is we're going to go ahead and get this damper off the front here because there's a bolt directly behind that that we need to get the water pump off because we are replacing the water pump while we're here. So we're going to replace that water pump and then after that, we're going to put the rocker stands back on and we're going to set the valve lash on the engine. So that is our first step today. Let's get into it. Taking any bets? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna bust it loose without something. Huh? You don't think? I think it will. You think it will? That's 200 and something foot pounds? 278. And that just busted it like that. Thing's a beast. Oh my gosh. Be careful, you're spilling the fluids. Hey! <laughs> Actually, you think it's all out. It just yeah, it just keeps That's coming. Cool. I swear, man. Drives me up a wall. We're gonna go ahead and set the valve lash on this engine. Now we've got the rocker stands back on there. They're all torqued down to 30 foot pounds here. Got our damper back on here. Now on the damper assembly, there is a mark on the back side of it that helps you set your timing. And on the timing cover itself, there's a mark here on the side. I'll give you a close up of that now. Basically what you do is you line the mark on the damper up with the mark on the timing cover. And now you are in time essentially to set your valve lash. Now the first stage, you wanna have the Number one cylinder over here, both of these rocker arms loose. That's where you wanna start. And I don't have this memorized, so I'm just gonna list it off here. You're going to be doing both the intake and exhaust on cylinder one. You're gonna do the exhaust on cylinder number two, intake on cylinder three, intake on cylinder five, intake on cylinder six, exhaust on cylinder seven, and exhaust on cylinder number eight. Now, all of these measurements, you're gonna be setting them to 12 thousandths, both intake and exhaust. Now that you've done that side, spin the damper a full 360 degrees so your marks line up again. And when you do that, you're going to do intake on cylinder number two, exhaust on cylinder number three, intake and exhaust on cylinder four, exhaust on cylinder five, exhaust on cylinder six, intake on cylinder seven, and intake on cylinder eight. So there you go. That's the whole process. We're gonna go ahead and run through this, go ahead and set our valve lash, both sides will be ready to put our rocker arms, or sorry, put our valve covers back in place. Also, I want to make a note with the engine architecture for a Duramax. On the passenger side, you have cylinders one, three, five, and seven. And on the driver's side, you have two, four, six, and eight.
All right, day three done and dusted here. We got the most, all of the engine completely assembled. A lot of assembly done today. However, we are being held up by a couple of things. We're still waiting on an exhaust manifold on the passenger side here. A couple of the really minor things, but we're supposed to have all the parts that we need early tomorrow morning. Hopefully we can jam this thing together, get the cab dropped on this thing. And hopefully by the end of this episode, you will see this engine fire up and have it run perfectly. That's the goal guys. And we're back for day four of our Duramax build. We are finally at the time where we're ready to drop the cab back down on this thing. So let's go ahead and get it going. We are getting an early start late in the day today. Bonus points to any of you who know where that reference came from. But let's get into it, guys. All right, making some real progress now. We have basically everything back together on the truck. We have the oil changed on there. We have the coolant filled. We have the power steering fluid redone. I have not recharged the AC yet. I wanna make sure that everything is running properly first before I recharge the AC system on there. Now, in the previous video, I mentioned that when I start the job, I do not drain the oil right away. I drain the coolant, but I don't drain the oil. And the reason for that is that when you pull the cylinder heads, many times some coolant from the coolant passages will make its way down into the crankcase there. And what I like to do is the coolant will actually find its way underneath all of the oil. So after the job is basically done, after the whole engine is reassembled, I'll raise the engine up and that is when I will drain the oil because it actually is sitting on top of any coolant that's in there and will help to push all that coolant out of there. If you drain the oil first, one thing is you have to remember to raise it up and drain any coolant that got in there too. But the other thing is I like having the pressure of that oil to really push any of that coolant that's out of there. Now it would probably drain the coolant out of there just fine anyway, but that's just the way I like to do it. I think it's a pretty good system. So you know me, I went ahead and checked this thing out. I went ahead and checked for any codes that are on there, hooked up the scan tool. We have no active codes currently. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bleed the fuel system on here because it is a Duramax. So I'll bleed the fuel system, try to prime that as much as possible. Then we're going to try to fire this thing up, see what it sounds like. <laughs> gonna make a mess here, but. Mm -hmm. All right. Hopefully it's nothing there. Let's give her a wrangle. See if we get any change.
give you a taillight warranty. I can't imagine what that feels like. It's a that you can't see my taillight? <laughs> <laughs> it's when you come back and I'm like, and you are? <laughs> yeah. I did what? <laughs> Your face looks vaguely familiar. There it is guys, another project done and dusted on this 05 Duramax. Got those new head studs on there. This thing runs great, sounds great. It's exactly what I wanted to do. Had a really fun time this time around working with my brother-in-law, Kelly. It's really nice to have somebody in the shop helping out. Kelly, what do you think? You like it? Awesome job, man. I just, uh, yeah, it's just one of those jobs that I, I thought maybe, oh, maybe I can try doing this myself. And once we got into it, I was like, there's no way. It's impressive <laughs> watching somebody knows what they're doing. Um, Cause it's, just a short way into the dismantling of the motor, I was like, this is way over my head. So I appreciate yeah. your help, man. You did a fantastic job. No, I appreciate it. It's been awesome. And I'm glad this was our plan the whole time. Have you come down and do this? So it's been a great project. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. We'll see you next time on Reignited.